With the news that the Denver Broncos have decided to bench Russell Wilson for Jarrett Stidham for the final two games of the 2023 season, I thought now would be a good opportunity to go back and look at some of Jarrett Stidham's film from the preseason when he was actually going against some quality level defenders from the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals actually did have some starters mixed in during Jarrett Stidham's playing time, whereas probably his best game on the year in the preseason was the Los Angeles Rams, and those were against mostly fourth and fifth fifth string defenders by the Rams who aren't even on NFL practice squads right now. So in order to get a fair evaluation on Stidham, I think we need to look at this tape from this game. And I'm not going to lie, guys, it's not all that pretty. Russell Wilson, I feel like, is a much superior quarterback to Jarrett Stidham. There's a reason why Jarrett Stidham is not a starting quarterback in the NFL. And I think this tape showcases it. But I'm willing to go into these last couple of games with an open mind to see how he plays for the Denver Broncos with the starting group around him. But what he showed in the preseason, especially in the first two games going against higher quality defenders, I wasn't too impressed. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the film. So this first play is going to be play action here. And Jarrett Stidham, it's going to be man coverage, has a... Deep over route here being run by Marquez Callaway. Now, Jarrett Stidham, much like Russell Wilson, on this very first play is going to deal with some offensive line issues as this defensive end right here for the Arizona Cardinals is absolutely going to manhandle the right guard, number 75, Quinn Bailey. But Jarrett Stidham, to his credit, actually does a pretty good job of navigating the pocket, as you can see here. Bailey gets beat to the outside, Stidham sees it, is able to retreat out of it, so a good job by him. As you can see right here, he's got Marquez Callaway on this over route, and on paper you can definitely see how this could work, especially if Jarrett Stidham delivers him a good ball right in front of him basically. That would allow him to basically turn up field and get a big gain, and if he could get past this safety right here, this could potentially be a touchdown. So. It's a good play on paper, but it requires a pinpoint accurate throw, basically, from Jarrett Stidham. And as you can see here, Stidham is just going to put the ball, like, three yards behind Marquez Callaway. This is horrible ball placement on the run. He doesn't have a chance to get his feet set. Stidham doesn't. But, my God, man, you got to at least give your guy a chance right there. Put it out in front of him, dude. If you put it out in front of him, again, this has a chance to go for a big play, maybe even a touchdown. Instead, we put it in the dirt, and it's a near interception because of how underthrown it was. Just a horrible ball from Jarrett Stidham. But it certainly wasn't all bad for Jarrett Stidham. This is actually going to be a really good play here. And surprise, surprise, Quinn Bailey is once again going to get, just going to get destroyed. And Jarrett Stidham, once again, to his credit here, is going to step up out of it. Now, what's going to happen here is it appears to be quarters coverage for the Arizona Cardinals downfield right here. And they've got little Jordan Humphrey right here who's going to be running this in route, this dig route basically, and that's going to be paired alongside a post route right here from the number two Marquez Callaway. Again, great job there navigating the pressure, Stidham steps up and delivers an absolute rocket. That is a really good throw right there and allows Humphrey to turn up field and get some extra yards. Great job from Stidham there navigating a little bit of pressure and steps up and delivers a perfect pinpoint accurate strike. So certainly wasn't a complete failure of a day for Jarrett Stidham at the office, but there were definitely more bad plays than good plays. This was one of the few good plays that popped up for Jarrett Stidham on his tape. This is a play where I can't tell if Stidham and his receiver weren't on the same page or if Stidham just gave his guy a really bad ball and he just missed a read here. So the Cardinals are going to be playing, I believe, cover three. And this guy right here is going to be buzzing down to cover this flat zone right here. So that's something that Stidham needs to be aware of right off the bat. Little Jordan Humphrey right here is kind of going to be running what looks to be sort of a glance route to start off, like a five-step slant, but then he ends up bending it to the inside and sitting right here. And on the snap, what I can't tell exactly is if Stidham maybe expects Humphrey to be in a different spot. 
It's also going to be paired, by the way, with a little flat route right here from the running back, Tyler Beatty. And you can definitely make the argument, first of all, that this flat route is open. It's first down and 10. Just take the easy money, dude. You can't go broke taking a profit. But I don't necessarily hate the processing here because there is a window where this throw comes open. Unfortunately, either Humphrey sits in a spot where Stidham's not expecting it or he delivers just a horribly inaccurate ball way behind him dude look at this this is where the ball ends up you can see Humphrey tries to extend out for it again I don't know if Stidham expected Humphrey to be in a different spot there or if or if that's just a horribly inaccurate throw I'd like to hope that it's the former on this next one here we've got off man coverage Outside, we're just going to be running this go route right here, basically. Now, the receiver, in my opinion, needs to do a better job of stacking on this play. I, I don't think that um, Jarrett Stidham delivers a horrible, horrible ball here, but as we roll it, Jalen Virgil, I believe that's who that is. Yeah, that's number 15, Jalen Virgil. He, I don't know if he gets lost trying to track the ball or what because I feel like if he uses that blazing speed that he has to get free and stack over this DB here, he's got a chance. This isn't a horribly placed ball. It's out in front where Virgil should have been, quite frankly. It almost felt like Virgil slowed down and quit on his route. I mean, I, I really can't complain too much about the ball placement here from Jarrett Stidham especially considering Cam Fleming right here gets completely destroyed and same on the other side. Both of your tackles are just getting worked. Cam Fleming and Isaiah Prince. Stidham, you can say the pressure maybe affected the throw, but I almost kind of feel like Jalen Virgil quit on his route as well. So this feels like it's almost, almost on both of them, but a little more on Virgil to me. So this one here is just going to be a good job by Jarrett Stidham just to hold on to the ball, quite frankly. On the snap here, you can see that Isaiah Prince is getting worked by Cam Thomas. And right here, Quinn Bailey, he initially looks like he's getting worked as well, but he, in my opinion, does a really good job recovering. You can see he maintains his anchor and gets his base back. But same cannot be said for Isaiah Prince right there. This is the, oh crap, I'm screwed position right here. And Jarrett Stidham, you can see he's basically in a really tough spot. He's at the bottom of his drop looking downfield. Maybe he could try to get it here to Greg Dulcich, but at this point, or on the other side of the flats, but it's not a great situation here for Jarrett Stidham. And he ultimately just pulls the ball down and tries to secure it, basically. He does a good job of securing it and avoiding the strip sack fumble. But you'd also maybe like him just to get to the flats a little bit quicker in this situation, seeing that your right tackle here is getting clowned. So, a good job holding onto the ball, but you'd kind of like him to get rid of that ball a little bit quicker in this situation. Not great, Chief. Definitely not great. So here on this one, once again, Cam Fleming is just going to get absolutely worked. Stidham's got Tyler Beatty here just on a little sit route out of the backfield. Good job by Stidham, honestly, just staying composed after his left tackle gets destroyed and is able to sling it out and get it to, get it to Tyler Beatty there just as he's getting leveled, Stidham is. So... Much like Russell Wilson, Jarrett Stidham had to deal with some less than ideal off offensive line play in this one. And you can see right there that, yeah, not, not great there, Chief. Definitely not great. But nice job there hanging in and delivering the throw, though. So this is just going to be some more bad ball location from Jarrett Stidham. It's going to be a deep dig route here. On the outside, and I'm, this is actually not an accurate drawing really, it's a lot deeper than that. And it's going to be off of a trap pass play action look here, where we've got the left guard who's going to be pulling around right here, faking the trap pass. Um, that's a very big staple of the Sean Payton offense. And you can see right there, it works out pretty well. Initially, Stidham's got to be able to hit this throw. Instead, he puts it too far in front where the receiver has to dive to catch it and it ends up being incomplete. 
you want Stidham to put this right on Humphrey's numbers right here. And that just showcases the lack of a high-level arm talent there from Stidham. You want him to step up and just deliver that throw with velocity and accuracy. And right there, he's got the velocity, he just doesn't have the accuracy. Not ideal at all. So this is going to be Stidham's worst play of the night, quite frankly. It is going to be his interception, and he stares down Montrell Washington on this outbreaking route right here. I mean, completely just stares him down, man. There's no excuse for this whatsoever. He takes the snap, and look at Stidham's eyes. He doesn't even try to look anybody off. He's looking straight at this throw to the outside, stares it down. And to make matters worse, he's late on the throw and it gets picked off. He's lucky that wasn't a pick six. Montreal Washington made a nice effort there to make that tackle and not let the defender get free. That's so bad. That's high school level stuff right there from Jarrett Stidham that he just completely misexecuted. You can't stare down your receiver and then throw late on an outbreaking route. That'll get picked off 10 times out of 10. That's inexcusable from Jarrett Stidham. That is rookie mistake stuff right there from him. Maybe a read option right here with Jarrett Stidham and Tyler Beatty. You can see the defensive end crashes into play the run right here so Jarrett Stidham's going to keep it himself and show some nice wheels and slides so that's one positive play from Jarrett Stidham he can at least execute the read option well and then finally on this play this is going to be a clear a clear miscommunication here between Jarrett Stidham and his wide receiver obviously we don't know who is wrong here the receiver stops on his route when Jarrett Stidham is expecting him to continue straight into the end zone on a go route, basically. And since this is against press coverage, I honestly feel like Jarrett Stidham was correct here, thinking end zone. And I think the receiver was incorrect stopping his route, but we're, we can't be sure of that. We weren't in the huddle. We don't know the play call exactly. But... As you can see here, either way, it's going to be a clear miscommunication. Stidham throws it in the end zone. His receiver stops. So whoever didn't communicate clearly on that one, we're not sure, but clear miscommunication. So in conclusion, I do think that overall there are some positive things you can take away from Jarrett Stidham's game. His ability to use his legs is one of them, and I'm curious to see how well he can operate in structure in this Sean Payton offense now that he has the chance to do so. That's the main reason why I feel like Russell Wilson is getting benched to begin with, but I also feel like Jarrett Stidham has a lot of shortcomings with his arm talent and his overall vision on the field, and those came up in this preseason game. They also came up in the second preseason season game against the San Francisco 49ers and as somebody who was out at training camp basically every single day this is what we saw from Jarrett Stidham on a day in and day out basis so yeah I'm not exactly enthused by the Broncos starting Jarrett Stidham I think Ben DiNucci would give him a better chance but that's just me maybe Jarrett Stidham has made some monumental improvements between last time we saw him and now during practice every single day even though he's not getting a whole lot of reps being the backup quarterback so Really interesting to see how this is going to go for the Denver Broncos. I'm curious how you guys think it's going to go. Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. And until next time, guys, I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.